Hello everyone, it's Final Render here, and welcome to another episode of Fallout 4 Building with Mods. This time, we're going to be building a science lab deep within the Glowing Sea. This is Sentinel Site, which can be found to the southeast of the Glowing Sea and is part of the main story quest, but this huge pyramid is a beautiful location and I'm going to build an Arctic style research lab here. I don't expect to get lots of settlers, but let's start. The trick to building outside of a normal settlement is to use the command console. First you need to do god mode so you can actually start building. It also gives you unlimited resources. It says that there are enemies nearby if you don't do this. And then type in player.placeatme c1aeb in the command console. That will spawn a workshop at your feet with a very large radius. And then you can start building. Nice one command console. First mod we're showcasing is the craftable solar panels and fusion reactors. This is, as the name suggests, some animated solar panels and an animated fusion reactor, which gives you power to your settlement. Tell you the truth, I actually think this is much more law friendly than having diesel generators, and they're animated beautifully, and I think it's a brilliant idea to have these solar panels in Fallout 4. It just something about solar panels just looks so good. The main kind of backbone of the science lab section is going to be using the Homemaker mod. Very similar to alternate settlements in the sense that it adds lots of new building materials and lots of new items to add to your settlements. In this case I'm going to be making a little radiation zone as if you were going into the sentinel site pyramid. So have a little radiation free zone where you can put your hazmat suit on that's separate to the main lab using this wonderful institute section which has the sliding doors and they all work and they actually fit together properly so I really like having that and I decided to just flood it with all of the ceiling lights so it really does look really bright like when you go in the institute along with some stairs from the alternate settlements which actually adds the ramps from all of the vaults from vault 101 etc along with those radiation scanners and then you add a few more decorations and it starts to look like this here's one I made earlier and it looks brilliant Kiri's very happy and so is my main vault wanderer in the institute science lab Right, so now we need a place to sleep. So the secret of the living area is using something called Snap and Build. This is what gave me the idea to kind of build like an Arctic North Pole science lab, except it will be in the, in the glowing sea. And it's just these little bunker sections, all these capsules which you can clip onto each other. And all of the walls snap on together, you can get some with windows, you can get sliding doors, and you get the little four-way capsules so that you can build whatever you want and make a little metal tunnel system and it looks exactly like a science lab that you would find in Antarctica for example so this is what gave me the main idea and I really like it the mold works really well you can also use the exact same mod for building things like greenhouses and warehouses and you can also change all of the paint systems to get say like Voltec ones and I need a little food section in here so once again I'm going to be using the working food planters mod to give myself some moo fruit planters this entire lab isn't going to be very big, it's only really going to have like four people in it. And using alternate settlements, and I also believe it is involved in Homemaker as well, so these double bunk beds. These give you two sleeping areas for the price of one. And it's time to decorate the sleeping area, using mods such as Law Friendly Flag Pack HQ Standalone Flags and some of the other stuff in Homemaker, I can make some really nice decorations in this little capsule area to make it feel like a home as opposed to just a science lab. And these actual flags work really well with the snap and build because they slot into the corners of the capsules perfectly. Little clipping, but it looks very convincing, I think. So, and I like to add little decorations here and there. Nothing necessarily useful, but just little things like cones and rubble because it actually makes it look far more believable. So now that the sleeping area has been done, let's carry on. I realise the scientists might need a way to get onto the roof of the lab to do some maintenance. So why not do an elevator? This is craftable elevators and this actually gives you several elevators all the way from single story all the way to five stories up and they all work. It's fantastic. As far as I'm aware there's no way to stop at individual floors. You can only go directly to the top but they all work. You just go up to the teddy bear conductor, select it, and then you'll be riding in your elevator all the way up to whatever story elevator you have built. And I use the vault catwalks to get onto the roof, so I now have a way to get onto the roof of the science lab should I need to do some maintenance. And it looks quite nice actually. As far as I'm aware they only come in wood currently, but it still works and I think that's amazing enough. 
decided to add some rails to the roof of the science lab and I believe it's done. But after that I realised the solar panels actually only work during the day. So again using the same mod I decided to add a fusion reactor and this thing is animated beautifully. It looks fantastic, it's spinning around in there with its fusion cores. I love it and it gives you 50 power I believe and I decided to completely fence this off. It actually makes sense as well in terms of the location, maybe the science lab is here purely because they wanted to build an experimental fusion reactor. See, it totally makes sense. And I decided to add some radio towers in there just to make it look good and I think it's pretty much done now. The place looks good, it's nice and simple, it's nothing too adventurous in terms of a mod but there's probably the least amount of vanilla assets in this as opposed to some of my other settlements. Pretty much everything in here comes from a mod and I think it looks quite nice. It's simple and it works and the fact that I've got it to work in the glowing sea is beautiful. And the thing about the glowing sea is it's probably one of my favourite places in the game. It's just so hostile and the weather looks beautiful as you can see in this time lapse. But then as I was about to finish up the video a new mod came out that I had to have. This is craftable animated water wells. This came out literally as I was just about to export the video and I thought I've got to put that in there. This animated well is perfect because there's no way to actually get water purifiers in the glowing sea but this will give me 150 water and the animation on it is fantastic. Truly top notch and it's the perfect item on the cake for this science lab. So, thanks very much for watching guys. This has been Final Render and this has been me building in the glowing sea. I really enjoyed building in a place that wasn't a standard settlement, actually by putting my own workshop somewhere, and I'm now seeing almost unlimited potential using these mods. So thanks very much for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed it, please subscribe if you did, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I'm not too sure where I'll do a settlement next, maybe you should leave a comment telling me where I can actually build next. So thank you very much, this has been Final Render, and you have been the audience.